On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Yep. Had a lot of good times, girl. I'm definitely going to miss you. But this goodbye is not forever. I will definitely be seeing you in the future. Well, boys, I'm selling my original hawk to a friend of mine. He's giving it as a Christmas gift to his son. So I'm not going to reveal who bought it. It's been a good bike. Just put a brand new tire on the back. Brand new rim. I'm going to clean it up. Oil chain. It's just been sitting. But if you ever get this bike in the future, it has my signature. You know it's the original. The original Hawk 250 that started it all. The next day. So Jeffro gave me a new Harbor Freight compressor head. I want to explain something about these old Sears air compressors. The old 5 horsepower Sears air compressors were not 5 horsepower. They had a different way of rating the horsepower back then. It's actually a 3 horsepower. They had an SPL rating that led consumers to believe they were getting a 5 horsepower motor. I heard there was even a class action lawsuit. You're an idiot! And a scammer! That's why when you're replacing the compressor head you can go with a 3 horsepower compressor head like what Jeff gave me here from Harbor Freight. As you can see here, the Harbor Freight Pump actually has better CFM than the original Sears Pump, which has been discontinued and no longer available. I'm sure you guys remember the old one. It made a hell of a racket. That's a lot quieter, isn't it? Yeah, I got the right pulley coming. <laughs> Much quieter. While I'm waiting for the new pulley to come in, let's tear apart the old compressor head and see what was making such a racket. I wonder where the vent is for this crankcase. Hmm. This thing kept pushing a lot of oil out apparently. It was all over the side. Well, I won't have to worry about that anymore. <coughs> Look at this. I guess the next thing I gotta fix is my noisy furnace. The reeds are still good. <laughs> well, you can hear it. That's how much slack that connecting rod has right there. See what it looks like in here. Looks like that seal's been leaking. That's where all my oil's been coming out. bit of metal in there. This one. Got a little bit of play there, hey? Watch, I bet there's non-replaceable. Yeah. Excuse me. In other words, there's non-replaceable bearings in there. By the looks of this crankshaft, Oh yeah, that crank is shot. So I'd have to do a crank connecting rod. Nah, it ain't worth fixing this one. I know, I'm juvenile. Well, that one's good. Too bad. Chances are, you know, like if I just wanted to get another connecting rod, probably would, would last a while, but... Jeff Rowe gave me a new one, so why would I bother doing that? Definitely a little bit of a difference there, eh? I can't believe there's no crank vent on this at all that I could see. I don't see any, any holes for venting, which is probably why a little bit, if air gets by those cylinders there, it's going to blow the seal out and push the oil out. Now this new one has a vent tube right there. And that's the same thing that happens in an engine that's starved of oil. Except uh, an engine would have replaceable bearings. And of course this doesn't.
There's a bad journal. There's a good journal. This compressor head pump also has that on the bottom. You guys know what that is? It's called splash lubrication. Where it actually scoops the oil as it dips in and, and spreads the oil around. So it relies on the splashing, throw it all around into the cylinders and everything. Because there is no oil pump on these. Pretty interesting, eh? A lot of the original, older small engines had that. Well, while we're here, I figure I'll flip this over, show you how these reeds work. There's no mechanical push rod that opens these valves or reed valves. Kind of like on a two stroke motor. Usually there's a reed plate. So this is a little air breather, which is kind of why these old ones are very loud because there's no muffler. The new one has a muffler, as you can see. I had to turn that on a 45 to fit under my bench. Twin cylinder craftsman. There's the intake for each cylinder. The head should come off and there should be a little reed plate in here. <laughs> the head should come off. When I nod my head, you hit it. There it is. Okay. Well, the reed plate stayed. I guess this does have venting. The crank vents up through one of these holes. Huh. The crank is venting through a hole and I don't even see it going all the way through. Is it plugged? Oh, there it is. But it is plugged. You see how I can see through that one hole? This one's blocked off. There must be something in there. Oh, there is. It's actually... It was part of the filter. It was part of this. It was stuck down in there. Right here. So I wonder how well that was venting. That could have been the problem why the seals ended up blowing out. These rings don't even look like terrible, huh? Wow. There's no gap. Like these are perfect. These rings didn't wear at all. There's maybe one or two thousandths. Not gonna get much better than that. Even has cross hatches in the cylinder still. <laughs> compression ring, second compression ring, oil ring. Of course it has the holes in it to lubricate the cylinder. And apparently floating pins on a connecting rod with little nylon bushings to hold it in. Still good. If I felt like rebuilding it. Don't know if I will. So let's take apart this reed plate now. There's the intake reed. They're supposed to have a very slight gap, if any. And then the exhaust reeds. <laughs> Everything else looks okay. And that's how that works, my friends. We'll put that new pulley on. I gotta figure out, I have a 12 and a half inch pulley that has to spin a thousand RPMs roughly. So I gotta figure out what size pulley I need. Ah, screw it. I went to the website and cheated. There's the answer. Three and a half inch drive pulley. Of course, the first thing you do is make sure there's no power. Loosen that. And that thing's been on there for many many years hope she comes off Wow. We're gonna have to 
torches thing. Holy cow. Wow. I believe I'm going to have to torch it. God. I think it's going a little, maybe. It is going, but wow. Oh my god. See, I'm going belt because the pulleys are a different size. That's good. Cast iron's better. There. Mm. Put a little white piece of tape. Use a strobe app. Going 14 hertz. So I'm a little bit under on the RPMs. I have a four and a half inch pulley, but I don't have a belt that's big enough. So I'm gonna have to pick up a belt and uh, try that one. But it's good enough for now. Hell yeah, it's cousin Eddie. There's a guy on there. There's a guy on the ladder up there too. Look. <laughs> 